If this is the first time that you are visiting our channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Today we're diving into a topic that's as important as it is volatile ammonia explosions. Ammonia, with one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms, is crucial in fertilizers, plastics, and refrigeration. But it's also toxic and flammable, posing serious risks if not handled with care. We'll explore tree significant ammonia explosions since 1980, understanding the causes and learning valuable lessons to prevent such tragedies. So, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey into the world of ammonia explosions. Our first stop takes us to Port Neal, Iowa on December 13, 1994. The Terra International Fertilizer Plant became the scene of a devastating explosion. A leak in the nitric acid plant released ammonia into the air. The leaked ammonia found an ignition source resulting in a catastrophic explosion. Four workers lost their lives and 18 others were injured. The investigation revealed safety lapses, highlighting the importance of stringent protocols. The Port Neal disaster underscored the need for robust leak detection systems and comprehensive employee training. Remember, complacency can be a silent killer when handling hazardous materials like ammonia. We shift our focus to Toulouse, France on September 21, 2001. A massive explosion at the AZF fertilizer factory shook the city. At the epicenter was ammonium nitrate, improperly mixed with other chemicals. The explosion claimed 31 lives and injured over 2,500 people. The physical damage to the city was immense with buildings reduced to rubble. The Toulouse explosion highlighted the potential for industrial accidents to impact entire communities. It led to calls for stricter regulations and improved safety protocols. The scars of the Toulouse explosion remain a reminder of the importance of constant vigilance. Our journey takes us to Beirut, Lebanon on August 4, 2020. A colossal explosion ripped through the port of Beirut, leaving a nation in shock. At the heart of this tragedy was a massive stockpile of improperly stored ammonium nitrate. A fire spread to the ammonium nitrate, resulting in one of the largest non-nuclear explosions ever recorded. The port was reduced to a smoldering wasteland, with buildings flattened and streets littered with debris. Over 200 people lost their lives and thousands more were injured. The explosion inflicted deep wounds on the city's infrastructure. The Beirut explosion is a stark testament to the devastating power of negligence. Each of these tragedies serves as a reminder of the devastating consequences when safety measures fail. These incidents offer invaluable lessons for industries handling hazardous materials. Stringent safety protocols are critical, just as a doctor follows strict hygiene practices. Proper storage and handling of hazardous materials are paramount. Training and emergency response are essential, with regular drills and clear communication channels. Regulatory compliance is imperative, with government setting and enforcing stringent safety standards. Industries must prioritize safety, investing in robust measures, and fostering a culture of safety. By learning from the past, we can create a safer future. Preventing future incidents is a shared responsibility. Industries, governments, communities, and individuals all have roles to play. Industries must prioritize safety, investing in robust measures and adhering to ethical standards. Governments must ensure comprehensive and up-to-date safety regulations. Communities have the right to be informed about risks and demand transparency. Open communication channels and emergency preparedness plans are essential. Individuals can stay informed, support stricter safety regulations, and hold officials accountable. By working together, we can create a future where such tragedies are consigned to history. That was a lot to take in, but it's crucial to understand the risks associated with ammonia and other hazardous materials. Safety is paramount, and it's a responsibility we all share. Stay informed, ask questions, and demand transparency from industries handling these materials. Thanks for joining me on this important journey, and as always, stay curious. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Until next time, stay safe and keep exploring the world around you. If you want us to make this kind of video, make sure you comment below and do not forget to subscribe.